today we will discuss uh, the assembly that is uh, connecting run see first thing is that uh, we need to analyze that uh, drawing see this is the first part cover part then main row and the last one is what uh, screw part here the first one is cover part now i will uh, show you how to uh, make a modeling of uh, this one this cover part so you go for uh, fusion and i uh, you know how to log into fusion by adding your id and password and here you go for sketch select front plane and here you please observe this uh, particular sketch here see here we need to draw uh, two circles which are having radius 25 that is outer and inner that is 17.5 okay and also here uh, radius 5 is there and uh, 10 mm uh, and here also the stop that is 8 mm okay and now i will go for uh, sketch and here i will uh, draw uh, two circles right one is radius 17.5 that is uh, the diameter will be 13 35 and another one is what the radius uh, 25 so diameter will be 50 this is the the first step right we need to draw two circles which are having diameter 35 and also uh, that 50 okay and now at the top you please observe here we need to make a uh, 10 mm here and 8 mm to the here what we need to do is you go for the sketch okay here you select rectangle center rectangle see from this you take see from this we need to draw a rectangle okay here they have given this distance that is uh, 10 means 20 and here this distance they have given that is uh, total 16 mm half will be uh, uh, that is 8 now i will take full okay that is 16 mm here it has to be uh, here at the center vertical see you just exhibit here from the center to your vertical relationship okay and see uh, the next the radius will be we'll discuss or we'll provide it uh, later okay and here i am going to uh, draw another uh, that is rectangle center rectangle same thing see from this okay we're taking origin as a reference see from this here distance that is 20 yeah and here this distance 60 see 20 16 from this center you can adjust see from this center to here it will be 10 mm right see 10 mm right see this is what the distance they have given here see 10 mm see this one is 10 mm okay and here we are going to extrude it here it has to be extruded to a uh, distance of uh, that is here see same distance that is 30 mm okay 30 mm you go for fusion here we need to extrude okay before that see whatever the half portion we need right i will keep only that half portion okay here so just draw a line like this and now i am going to uh, delete all these things here see this is what the the sketch we need okay see this one right only the half portion okay And I'm going to delete this uh, line. We don't need it. And here you just, uh, yeah, this distance here we need to connect, right? Here what I will do is here this is 16 mm, so half will be 8 mm. Here you need to connect like this. Here, see, here we need to connect like this. From here to here we need to connect like this. This is what the uh, the sketch we want. We'll do one one thing. We'll finish this sketch, and here we'll extrude it. Okay, extrude. See this circle. See this circle okay see this portion it has to be extruded here only this part don't select this one here it has to be extruded symmetrically to a whole length of 30 okay see like this and you go for this sketch and this one see this top portion it has to be extruded here see they have given the distance that is 20 right the distance is what 20 now we'll go for fusion and here i will unite this sketch and here extrude see this portion see please take care while extruding the uh, the particular portion see this top portion what we need see this top portion 
it has to be extruded symmetrically to a whole distance of how much 20 okay like this and you please hide the sketch okay and also and also here we need to provide a that is a hole here okay see here we need to provide hole okay here they have given see here we need to provide a hole of uh, diameter 6 mm okay diameter 6 mm okay and also we need to provide uh, it is a threaded hole okay threaded hole we'll go for again fusion here see this particular fusion we need to select okay so before that here we need to provide some radius here see radius here they have given in the uh, sketch here you can observe see radius 5 right again i will go for fusion see fillet see this edge and for this edge the radius they have given that is 5 mm you click on ok that is 5 mm and now see you go for create sketch you select this particular face here we need to draw two circles ok two circles see from the origin you take ok here one is diameter 10 mm and another one having the diameter 6 mm okay here see it is available here here you can check see one is 10 diameter another one is 6 diameter we need to draw the sketch okay and after that here it is a through hole see there 6 mm is what uh, that is a through hole okay and here their distance see from the center they have given the distance 29 right that is 29 here see from this center to this center curl center they have given 29 see 29 like this and now you click on finish sketch see now the sketch got hided you just unhide the sketch see like this okay we need only this sketch here we just extrude this parts here this outer circle okay only this outer circle for a see like this this outer circle okay please select it uh, properly okay please uh, we take care by selecting the profile it is very very which is very very important okay see and then this circle okay only that is uh, the uh, outer circle we need to select okay see and also here see this part you just extrude it upwards okay and operation is what cut like this here yeah? operation is what okay then again you just unite this sketch here we need to make a hole okay here see this portion only this circle it has to be through hole okay now i am going to hide this sketch see through hole and here we need to it is what it is a threaded hole right you go for create tab you select thread command you just select that hole okay default thread see 6mm and you just switch on this uh, model view so that you will get a real view okay see like this here you can observe okay and now what we need to do is we need to mirror this to the other end you go for create you select mirror and you select the here see features you select features see these are the features which i want to mirror select the mirror plane see this is what my mirror plane see like this see like this see this is what the uh, the first part that is uh, cover now what i will do is i am going to apply material okay i will go for uh, physical material and here i will select aluminium as a material okay see i will select aluminium as a material i will apply it close okay and i will convert this uh, body into what component okay and we need to add the what properties go for properties in the properties part number one part name cover okay you click on close now see everything is ready you just click on save and you save it in your folder see made in underscore vtu here i'll go for connecting folder connecting rod folder here the first part that is cover yes okay 
the second part in uh, connecting rod is what uh, main rod see this is what the the part drawing of uh, that is uh, connecting rod here see that is the main rod part here uh, see whatever the the pressure we use to create this cover right the same pressure is there for this particular portion that is we need to uh, draw a uh, two circles of uh, 25 radius 25 and here see diameter will be 50 then radius will be 17 5 17.5 diameter will be 35 and here see this portion that is 10 and 8 mm okay now we will first create that one then after that we will go for the the next part okay and now here create sketch select the one particular uh, plane that is front plane i will select so select uh, circle command from the center i need to draw two circles one is 35 mm diameter and another one is what 50 mm diameter okay and now I am going to place this uh, dimensions to uh, suitable uh, the position. Here create rectangle, center rectangle. See from this circle to this point we need to draw a rectangle which is having the size here this is 20 and here this is 16 mm. Okay. Well, see why it is 20 and 16 here you need to take here. Uh, in the uh, sketch here they have given see from this point see from this point see this center to here this is 10 mm now i have taken from here now i have taken uh, center rectangle right so it will be 20 and here see this portion they have given uh, that is uh, 8 mm there i have taken uh, 16 mm okay see full i have taken here see i am going to uh, trim it okay at that time you will get it see 16 mm same thing create rectangle center rectangle from the center to this particular point 20 mm then 16 mm see like this and now see i will hide this uh, constraints see now it looks good now i will just draw one vertical line see from this rectangle to see to this now i will trim the uh, see the extra parts here see i don't need see for all the things you don't need it you just uh, remove it see like this okay see this is what the the extra part see we don't need this and this okay and now here we'll go for the uh, the next part here you can observe see i'll just add the uh, move the dimension to other side okay here okay now here you can observe here see here now we'll go for creating these two circles here see these two circles one is having a 32 diam uh, 22 diameter another one is what 32 diameter and center to center distance here from this center to this center distance they have given 180 mm right now see 20 to 32 okay now i will create two circles see by taking this origin as a reference okay one is 22 and another one is how much 32 22 32 and here i will make use of here see this horizontal or vertical constraint see i need to constrain this uh, circle to this horizontal position okay and here they have given the distance see, from this center to this center they have given the distance that is around how much 180 mm okay see like this and now we'll just draw a line like this here see here they have given this distance these lines these lines we need to draw see this set as a distance of 35 and here this distance is 20 mm okay and now we'll go for line command Please select line command see from here to here just draw a line then from here to here just draw a line like this okay and also they have given the distance here see from this to this they have given the distance right that is around uh, 35 mm right see 35 okay no problem now what we will do is here we will take line again smart dimension see from this to this center right see 35 by 2 see now it looks good. right 35 17 point same thing same thing will be applied here see this distance they have given 20 okay now again see from this to this center that is 10 mm see like this okay 
now we'll go for the uh, next part see this is over this outer and inner here uh, they have given the radius 9.5 another circle radius 5 in between distance they have given 115 mm and this center to this center this first circle center they have given the distance 40 m okay now we will go for the uh, selecting the uh, circle command we will draw two circles here see by taking this origin as a reference two circles one circle 9.5 means 19 mm diameter and another circle another circle 5 mm diameter right see 5 mm means what that is 5 mm radius that is 10 mm diameter okay and here see I am going to uh, make this uh, circle as a horizontal see like this and also yeah see here we need to take horizontal constraint see this center this center then again see this circle center and also this circle center now we will uh, apply the uh, the dimensions here see here the distance they have given that is how much 40 mm this distance and here in between these two circles they have given the dimension that is how much that is 1 1 pi right see like this 1 1 pi okay now we need to draw the uh, lines here see these lines these tangent lines we need to draw right these tangent lines now what i will do is i will just hide the dimensions okay here see i will uh, hide the uh, dimensions see now it looks good right go for here line see from this to this you can observe see the tangent symbol see from this to this circle that is tangent symbol see like this and we just trim the uh, the extra part here see we don't need this and also we don't need this <laughs> okay and now we will click on finish sketch now we need to extrude this okay see this they have given see this this outer part okay see this distance have given that is around uh, 30 mm okay that is symmetric see overall distance 30 mm here it is here you can observe see this is 30 see 30 okay see symmetric distance 30 mm yes okay then again see sketch got hided you just hide this sketch then again see this extrude this and this okay and also this part this has to be extruded to a distance here they have given see 20 this distance should be, should be how much 20 okay here also they have given see that is 20 okay see that is 20 same symmetric overall length that is 20 mm okay and now now the last part see the last part is what extrude see this inner part see this inner sketch it has to be extruded to a distance of uh, here they have given the distance here see this is how much 8 mm okay this inner distance okay you go for symmetric that is how much whole length 8 mm see like this 8 mm okay you click on okay now see all the things are over now i think see here and also we need to provide here two holes right yeah so you select this portion see this sketch this portion here we need to draw two circles right that is two circles one is that is uh, 10 mm another is 6, 6 mm right that we can observe see here from this see at this portion we need to draw okay not that particular uh, piece we need to select here they have given see here <coughs> see 10 6 6 mm is hole okay this 10 mm and it is a threaded hole okay now sketch you select this particular face it will be very easy now see here one is 10 mm and another is how much 6 mm okay and also in between distance also they have given see 
from this center to this they have given the distance 29 right that is 29 you go for sketch dimension see this circle center to this they have given 29 okay see 29 okay 29 see uh, before that what we need to do is actually we need to provide a uh, 8 mm uh, that is uh, see 5 mm radius here okay see for this particular portion we need to provide a uh, 5 mm radius now what i will do is here if you want to add anything right here see you go for timeline you just drag this okay see like this now we forgot to add radius right that we can add it here see fillet this and here this they have given the fillet value that is 5 mm okay see that is 5 mm see like this okay you click on okay and now see now that fillet is added now you just move this time see sketch the sketch is hided here see you can observe see you need only this sketch okay now you go for extrude command and this outer circle here see this this and this portion and this portion okay this has to be extruded see cut like this okay see like this and again create sketch this particular portion again here also again we as i told you here see the center 10 mm another one is what 6 mm right actually uh, already it is there right in that particular sketch right okay we we'll do one thing here see i need to delete this sketch which is added okay see we need to unhide this sketch see here extrude see this circle this circle has to be what removed see it has to be removed but don't select this portion okay don't select this portion only that particular portion we need to remove okay we'll check it yeah we'll hide the sketch yeah no we need to add both right here see edit feature here we need to select this also profile this also we need to select okay see now right now what we will do is we are going to uh, mirror this you go for create mirror here features what are the features see this portion and this yeah extrude and also see before that uh, mirror going to mirror you just provide a thread right we forget to add it right you go for thread then see default here selected 6 mm isometric thread click on ok now we need to mirror this create you go for mirror you select the feature see this this and this portion it has to be what a mirror right by selecting this plane see yeah this plane you need to select this center plane here you can observe see this plane see this what okay you click on okay now you can observe see this is what the part we needed right now what we will do is we'll apply the uh, material okay you go for modify then you select physical material then i will apply a uh, material as a brass okay see like this then close now i'm going to convert this body into component see i'm going to add the properties what are the properties part number two and component name what main rod right main rod okay yeah like this click on close and you just save this part okay save see connecting rod yeah need to open this uh, connecting rod yeah cover is there see this is the the second part me rod okay the third part in case of connecting rod is what a screw see this is what the screw we need to uh, design so it is having a diameter of uh, 10 mm it has to be extruded to a distance of 5 then again this uh, the particular uh, cylindrical part again so it is also having a diameter see diameter of actually 6 mm and the distance that is 23 minus 5 that is 18 mm okay now we'll go for fusion 
create sketch you select plane circle see diameter diameter is how much 10 mm that is head diameter and it has to be extruded to a distance of how much 5 right 5 then again here create sketch see this particular face see circle from this center see again 6 mm diameter finish sketch then it has to be extruded to a distance of 18 see 25 minus right that is uh, see you can observe in this sketch see 23 minus 5 not 25 23 minus 5 that is 18 mm right that is 18 mm you click on ok and here we need to provide a thread right so you go for create tab you select thread command you select the cylindrical face here you select model so that you will get a real view click on ok right now here we need to see here. everything is over now we need to apply what material go for uh, physical material in the physical material you please select uh, see uh, the material okay now here uh, i will select material as a uh, okay that is uh, yeah copper okay you can select steel okay let's go for steel yeah default it will take steel so i will take a stainless steel i will apply close then control see save i need to save this part see before that we need to convert this body into what component create component see we need to add the properties properties what are the properties that is part number three compound name is what screw okay close then you please click on save see the name of the part is what third part screw okay Now I'll explain how to assemble the the connecting uh, rod cuts. You just open the data panel. You open the folder where you have saved the parts. See connecting rods here I have saved. You just input the parts. Okay. Before that, you just save this particular page. Okay. That is connecting rod assembly. Okay. Like this, you just save the design. Okay. Otherwise, see uh, the everything, whatever you are going to assemble, right? That will be assembled in this uh, the first part, which you are going to insert, right? That in that only it will be assembled. Okay. Now I am going to insert the first part, that is cover. Okay. And I uh, will click on OK. And I am going to fix this cover part. See ground. Now I will insert uh, the main rod. Okay. That is the second part. And I'm going to place it to a particular uh, position. See, see, like this. Go to click on OK. And now go for joint. See, in the joint, you go for this face. You hold the control button. You use move the mouse towards center. You see, this center. See, this center. And here, same procedure. Move your, uh, that is cursor on this face. Hold the control. And this center see like this it is very very easy okay you click on okay right now the third part see third part is what screw you just add the screw like this okay you just move that screw to any particular position you want then go for assembly right see you just zoom it joint in assembly you select joint you just move cursor on the face see hold control this center see this center here same you just move the cursor on this face hold control and see this center here you can observe see perfectly align see like this like this you can align okay see if you want you can insert uh, again another screw and you just uh, uh, assemble or else you go for uh, mirror right you know mirror command select mirror and here uh, that is uh, object type is what component here see you just uh, okay body you go for here 
yeah it is not said no problem see uh, what i will do is i will just insert that screw only okay i will insert this screw okay i will just move it to a uh, proper position like this you just assemble right joint go move the cursor on the face this is this center and see this center see you move the cursor on this particular face and see this center see face control this center see like this okay you click on okay see this is what the, the assembly of uh, this connecting rod now you just save this file okay and now see you will go for uh, drafting okay which is also very very easy see in the design we need to select what a drawing from design now here see if you want to have any uh, default template you select it otherwise you click on ok here and you just place this ok see front yeah i will going to increase the size and is to three yeah okay at the same time here see here i uh, have written uh, see then yeah here some modification has to be made connecting road assembly and here i am going to write my company name yeah if you want to edit anything you just edit it okay and any uh, so if you want to mention date you just mention otherwise uh, you just uh, leave it okay yeah like this then finish properties see okay and now we will select see i need an invisible edges also you click on ok close now you go for project view you just project the view see see like this top side and if you need any uh, a sectional view go for uh, create section here you select this here a section view whatever the section you view you want right you just take that section say i want to cut it exactly half okay see like this okay now see i am going to keep this here yeah see like this so now you please add the uh, dimensions here you go for uh, dimensions here first i will go for diameter here see I want to mention see this diameter see this one here see this okay and here these two okay and here 10 okay then any other if you want to mention just mention the dimension other dimensions here uh, I will go for uh, see this center distance here to here this is 40 see this two yeah, see this circle center that is 115 and here see this center to see this center that is 180 mm okay and i'm going to move this to the bottom okay and you just drag and uh, place these all these dimension for suitable position and now see you go for dimension see radius i want to mention this radius 9.5 and this radius 5 and again small dimensioning see this this distance is 35 and here see this distance is how much that is 20 okay and you just drag this okay like this then here you take uh, again radius see here radius we need yeah see this is what the radius we need radius here 5 mm here also again uh, I am in right then here if you want any other dimension see this dimension this 20 right this is 50 right this is again uh, 10 right and here circle center to this okay here I want one center line okay here I am going to insert it see 
center line I need, I will select center line. In between, see these two edges, I need center line. See, a center line has been added. To go for dimensioning, see from this center to this circle, which is how much? 29. Again, this circle center to this distance that is 29. Okay. Then I uh, keep the uh, dimensions to uh, uh, proper uh, position, see, like this. Okay. Yeah, fine. Then again, uh, see if you want to add anything, okay, that you can add it here. Yeah, see for the top view again here, uh, we'll add the dimension, see this one. This has to be 30, right? That is 30. Okay, we'll keep like this. Then again, this here to here, that is 20. This inner, that is 8. Okay. And then here see this screw screw dimension also we need to mention right see this screw dimension that is head 10 and here see this distance see that is 5 right then again from here to see yeah this end to see here yeah this they have given okay I will take one second yeah, this two. Yeah, this. That is 18 mm. Right? Now everything is okay, right? See? These things. Now we will go for the last part. See, last part is what? Uh, tables, right? That is parts list. You select parts list. And here, see, you keep it like this. Then you just move it to, yeah. Before that, actually, uh, we need to take that uh, project, say, project view and uh, isometric view, right? So this is what the isometric view you keep it okay so you need a shaded view close we just move that shaded view to here now we'll go for the parts list here dimensions parts list okay here tables parts list okay we'll place here click on okay and now we just drag this inside okay and you move this uh, table to a particular position you double click on that uh, table and here i don't need descriptions so we'll remove the description see now it looks good close see this is what the drafting at the end what we need to do is we need to save right here we'll go for export video when i click on export video you see open video and save here if i click on open video and uh, okay right what it will do is it will ask you the uh, location where you want to save this drafting file say i want to save this drafting file in the cloud i am going to save it in uh, connecting road folder okay connecting road assembly okay connecting road assembly okay then I am going to save this uh, particular uh, the drafting file in the lo my local system. It will ask you the location. See in the desktop, I will go for assembly. Okay, this assembly in that connecting node. See here, I am going to save. Click on save. You click on here also save. Now what will happen in the browser? See in the browser, it will open. See this is what the the drafting page. Again, it will be saved in, in that particular uh, the folder assembly also and in the cloud also. Okay. Mm -hmm.